Hello back again. Today we have another one game of myself. It's me with the French on Twarwabio, I think. Versus Mongols. My probably most hated matchup. I just hate ta uh, tower washers. Oh, they are villager behind because Mongols. Let's see how this game goes. It's also a little bit short on sheep, it seems like. Ah, okay, you get sheep here. Here are one, two more. One and two. Well, I got the mill, started people now, a little late. So I have five sheep. He has five sheep, but I more or less are on his side of the map. Also got a little bit of idle time in it because he uh, puts his villagers in. What would be quite huge if he killed it with five sheep on it? And it's a tower wash. Man, I love it. I don't think he scouted any of my base now. As he's getting more or less no sheep because I'm getting all the sheep. So it's already a um, mash start for Mongols. Nice, do I get this one too? Of course not. He more or less runs straight to my base. Sees, oh yeah. Here's the mill. And I'm building a tower. I just put five villagers on the wood here and got the tower. <laughs> Fuck this shit. And he scouts it. Let's, and I cancelled the mill so he doesn't get the bounty goal. <laughs> After I got people. Let's see what he does now. Already two villagers behind because French. Or oh, in fact, three villagers because this one is idle. <laughs> Pure genius move of his side. Um, I put the scout in so the outpost can actually shoot. The actually bad thing on this map is my stone is here so I can't mine a little bit of stone to get the arrow slot upgrade at the moment. I'm hit feudal age. I'm also a little bit low on gold at the moment, got the enough food. So I'm doing crap like this. Let's go for another burn. He didn't look. And that's 100 resources lost. Uh, I chose his 200, but it's only 100 resources. And that's 50 because I cancelled the mill, but that should only be 25. That's weird. Oh yeah, I'm also cancelled the mining camp here. I built it here, so it's in tower and TC range more. Because I didn't plan to build a tower. The spearmen take good damage. Got one spearman. And I just switched the villagers out. Fuck you, man. How are somebody else? And the chest is with the chest as well. Go 
going up with the School of Cavalry. He's going up with his Diston. And because now I have way too many resources anyway from everything, I cancel the School of Cavalry. Amazing, it shows at 650 resources now. <laughs> I didn't lose anything yet until now. Okay, I lost 25 wood here. And I get a Bellrox. Just to be a little bit more safer. Also, to be fair, I don't really care if he gets the outpost here. It's not an outpost uh, in range for the attacks. Only if he gets arrow slits and that takes a time. Mm. Also, because I don't, don't really know where he got the yes stone on the silver tree. Also, the stable. Oh, he can't see the stable. Interesting. He got an archery range because he realizes, oh, I got the barrack and fuck it. That's actually okay scouting. Oh, and it's a silver tree. And still some villagers. No fault, glitches. Plus, this who does nothing. Oh, yeah, he lost 430 resources. Maybe kiss a villager. Amazing. Yeah, but I don't really care. Nope. Yeah, I don't really mind. Let's see when I scout this. Oh, he moves the spearman. Genius move. So now he has an outpost on it, and as long as I don't move here with... Oh, he killed two villagers now. I think I lost one here. But I'm pretty sure <laughs> he lost also a village here. And maybe that's uh, another one, but who cares. Yeah. Oh wow. That was, sh first of all, a horrible micro, and I don't know why he took a shot on the can. But, who gives that shit? 22 gold traders. Amazing. Awesome getting a stable behind that. Archer follow up. That's in theory a good idea, but in practice, this is absolutely worthless. I find it still find it amazing that he's too stupid to cancel my. I just said it's so bugged still. Lovely. Horrible night, Michael, like always.
That's okay. I think he lost the second for that try, yeah. So... He killed one more villager still, so he's still five villagers behind. Sick. No upgrades, nothing, and she cheats out. <laughs> what, an, what an absolute joke. So yeah, this village account, typical delay of when a friend slowly goes ahead. Something here I forgot to put you slightly. Lost two villagers, or one villager, lost two. I think here I lost one and here another. And yeah, I got one village, I lost one more again. Now here lost the third one. So one, two, three. Ah. He, he lost here one and somewhere else. Killed somehow more units. I yeah, also got more gold. I don't know, I think it was the play, but I also don't know why he get, didn't go for trade. I would quite struggle to contest this trade, to be honest. But, yeah. Funny tower washes. Let's see how the rematch goes. Um, I suspect another tower wash, and to be honest, I don't want to fucking deal with it. So I pick Abyssid. And it's the same map again. Amazing, and it's even a worse spot. <laughs> Can't even trade if I want to. Uh, three on the mill, three on the berries. Uh, with two on the berries, it doesn't work because uh, with two on the mill, it doesn't work because the gather rate is higher. They would run to here and then they would turn back. Way better start for him. And the one with the chateau for Mongols. Yeah, that's a very nice start. He could actually use the gear to scout and get cheap. But it looks like he doesn't want to do that. Yeah, of course he doesn't want to do that because he's a fucking tower washer and he doesn't know how to play the game in any other capacity, I have the feeling. Uh, Oh, what a surprise! It's a tower rush! As if he could play, he can play nothing else. I don't know. If you get. If you lose to a defensive tower with a tower rush as Mongols. And then you want to tower rush again. Versus Abyssid. You can't even a uh, tower wash versus Abyssid. Um, I asked him in the lobby if he wants to wash again. He said, of course. Um, okay. I thought I scored it because 
I thought maybe he wants to go for a trade boom build or something like that, but no. Let's see how this tower rush works. Abyssid counter build, go military wing. Buy Mongol tower rush. I also don't really understand why he wants to tower rush my gold. He just could tower rush this woodland here. Uh, start a tower here, try to get a tower here, and I would be out of the game if you actually go for the wood line, but... And now that's too hard thinking for some players, and... This guy struggles with one tricking tower rushes, so... with mongols. So that's quite sad. Sick. Let's see if he gets the tower up. So we were just already behind. Amazing. So he even forgot to produce. Oh, he, no, he doesn't get the village. Uh, I hope. Oh, he gets the village. Still, the village just behind. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Wow. Well, there is three villagers behind because. This villager... <laughs> I have the terrible feeling it won't... Go home? Nope. And... Yeah, he says the spearman, but who cares. And... yeah. And then another deer stone is the fun mark. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. So he didn't produce villagers because he didn't have food. He failed the tower rush, lost his villager by with the towers. Okay, he killed the villager. So not even that is worth because you had a shit ton of idle time on the villager. But I had no idle time on the villager. And... You're behind in the age shop and... Oh yeah, more spearmen push. I thought first it's a uh, silver tree, but... Now it's just another deer stone. I push back the spearman, and I have the terrible feeling he loses another villager. Nice. If you just use the gear to collect the sheep up here. Or maybe go to the steer. But for that you should have uh, you should have to scout the space and it's a Mongol player who can play Mongols, it's the funny thing. And I have no problem if you tower rush as a strategy and have a good follow up behind it. I still hate it and I find it absolutely annoying to play against it. But it's okay, but... That is just a joke. And then of course he didn't get the outpost. Still has 24 HP. Thought it was lower, but it's still 3 attacks, I think. Getting on my way for a th uh, second to see. Still staying with the Spearman Horseman. To be honest, he's on Spearman Horseman, so I'm not that worried. 
my spearmen are stronger than his spearmen and my horsemen are not stronger but I could add camels with them and they are stronger than his horsemen the only difference is he is faster because he has a fucking can with a movement speed buff get fresh foodstuffs and I start to chop my second TC Second trade. Wow, nice usage usage of uh, uh, stone. You get arrow slits. The funniest thing is, I know he wants to all in. So I understand blacksmith, but maybe you want to actually use all your stone on double production units instead of fucking worthless outposts upgrade. So actually nothing. Because the moment I have 10 15 horsemen, I can dive the outpost anyway if I want to. It doesn't matter if it has air slits or not. Also, not really, the, it takes a little bit more damage. That was a nice reaction. His horsemen are certainly just not active. To be honest, an archer range would be quite good. They could get camel archers to counter his horsemen. Also, I could get archers for a castle age military wing archer upgrade. But yeah, I don't really know what he's doing. Oh, the other stone for double production. Maybe more archers. Also, I don't really know what he smoked, but he thinks he can push a party to see with horsemen. <laughs> So, I don't know what the Scott is doing, but apparently it's a gun suicide in. Horsemen are really good defensively and offensively because they have mobility. We fear these mm, do nothing on the map at the moment too, but the problem is it's a fucking mongrel. His gold is under the TC, his wood line is under the TC, and he has an outpost here that don't really have the horseman met at the moment to move out. Also, he's more mobile because he's mongols and has outposts everywhere, but. I should go for the run of the At the moment the trades are quite good for him, but I'm not that worried I know on two uh, barracks. Yeah, he's going for archer double production. He can keep his protection up. And we have. I love that he did ranged armor. And he won the fight, actually. Nice. But it's still okay trade for me because I can pump out const consistently more spearmen. Why well, he can't really. Why well, he can't. 
Also, I have like always way too much gold. I don't know, it's just a habit. It's everything for me at the moment. I'm just on tons of gold that I don't really use. Because I've gotten. Yeah, I got them short on wood, but I could have gotten V Bebo for the culture and stuff like that. So, hey, he got, he got upgrades this time. Amazing. So, at least he has a small lead there. I don't know why he got Eco up with his 20 villagers behind, but. Okay. If you want to go from all in, maybe go for military upgrades and fuck the Eco upgrades because they do anything. If we had 30 minutes, it's way too late for all in anyways, but especially with a choke force like that. But okay, good luck. And that was the Khan. That's your army. Absolute choke. So, no, for real, um, <laughs> what was that? And now I'm more or less even in the trades again because he's just so he said all his fucking units under RTC. <laughs> and people don't learn, I have the feeling. Hey, I'm okay, I'm bold again. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Getting a worm. Pumping more spearmen and starting to get rid of these fucking outposts here because they annoy me. Amazing! Now he gets plus one military upgrades. Now, when you actually want the eco upgrades, because you can't longer all in. Sick. That was just too. Two horsemen for more or less free. Three P. Yeah, so we had a few spearmen as well in. Yeah, of course I'm suiciding a lot of my spearmen as well, but who the fuck cares? They're just spearmen. <laughs> While it's for Mongols it's a little bit different because Mongols doesn't work with masses really anymore. They also later on this game they can of course with trade they can of course too but if they don't go trade units they want to stay really really uh, they want to they need an advantage or they're behind. Also I don't know why I'm chasing with spearmen and not with the horsemen. But okay. Also I, what the fuck? What did I smoke? Okay. Really? I'm so fucking blind sometimes. That's ridiculous. And stupid. Nice. It's a good economy lead. The only thing is, he doesn't have the improved upgrades. If he went for the improved eco upgrades, wouldn't have lost his one villager, to be fair, that wasn't that horrible. And would have done the same just to try to keep some pressure up. It would be meh. But he spent all the stone on military units, what is correct, because he wants to all in. Yeah, not really, he used it on an outpost here, but would be more useful to fucking all in. Then he got eco upgrades, wasted there a lot of resources. Yeah, eco upgrades are nice, but they have some payback time. Yeah, that wasn't... In theory that wasn't a trade that was worth, but... Oh, he only killed one worker, it just destroyed four workers. Yeah. Doesn't help either. But every worker I kill is just a huge lead for me, and to be honest, 
At the moment I can more or less trade 2 to 1 and then should be fine. To be fair, he has the eco upgrade, so... Interesting, I'm getting Reaper on plus one. Oh yeah, I also have Hotto Culture now, so... I'm catching up in the eco upgrades. I'm ahead in the age up. These spearmen are very productive and don't stay in vision range at all. No. I think I A clicked them down here and then I forgot them. But yeah. As I said, I'm even in the trades more or less and I can be halfway down and should be fine. And to be honest, I at the time I'm in, I call probably suicide two nights for village and I would be still ahead. Especially now, I ha so, okay, I have already 50% more because I'm ever set with Golden Age 1. I'm also shot if before 50% more research speed, preservation of knowledge. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure if preservation of knowledge or fertilization percent is better. Probably fertilization because you actually can get up your farm eco. But to be honest, I was thinking about Imperial Age or something like that. Or just mess knights or stuff like that, so as probably camels, so get a lot of upgrades. Get cheaper upgrades and let's see. At the moment I'm I have a huge lead in villager, so I just have to build an army. And be safe, that's why I'm also have a defensive keep here. Sick. So he lost four spearmen for more or less nothing. I don't even set the spearmen down here, why should I? They take way too long. Nice man at arms. Also, cool tie. Yeah, of course. I'm already behind 40 villagers. I'm behind an eco. Uh, eco upgrades because it's Abyssid. Let's go cold tie and don't use it. Instead of, I don't know, extra 50% more gold. And hey, wow, it's a second keep. I'm more or less looking if I find some something to wait with them. Yeah, man at arms, who cares? I think he also takes up Twelix at the moment. Fire tent should be at the over to double produce. Uh, catch me here out of position a little bit, out of the cold tie. Maybe I shouldn't fight in this bullshit building because that actually helps him a lot, but... To be honest, I can't do more or less everything I want and I can't lose this game anymore. Nice, I got one relic to supply attend. I'm also getting got one relic. 
Oh, he's getting the second one. Yeah, this one is a little bit bad. I know I'm scouted, so buy the stone and drop the keep. Oh yeah, I have a market here to get rid of the excess gold. Yeah, I really lost a lot of villagers here, but I'm hoping I get the keep fast enough up. Because my actual game plan at the moment is... I know he has this gold, I know he has this gold. To be fair, this gold is also here. But this is a good big gold win, if I can get this, that would be amazing. Of course. Shit happens. But yes. Still fought villagers lead. After I suicided 16, 15 villagers. And I get, let's go to this big gold vein. Also taking this relic. What makes me now have also two relics? It's two to two. And he's I think he never scouted this relic, so yeah, it's two for two for quite a while in this game. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying, but So yeah, my big game plan is more or less mine all the gold, buy food with the gold I get, uh, actually pickaxe upgrades would be great in this case. I don't really like the special pickaxe, but in this case it would be actually good. Nice, he got attraction trebuchet to kill the keep. Instead of building a siege workshop on shot just double but using the fucking units he built he built him in field. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm losing all these regulars. Also I'm pretty sure I don't really care. Yeah, the fights are just horrible, but as I said, I can do more or less what I want. And along this trade, okay, it was amazing for him because he killed the Mega Nels, but he had the goal time as archers. Crossbows? Yeah, okay, it's mostly crossbows. With spearmen, men at arms versus spearmen, and they need, they took quite damage and took quite a while. Also, healing up would be quite good. Hey, he's on this card now. After he He's still defending the space. It's now half my village account. Deciding he wants to lose villagers again. Running low on this gold. Hey, I cut stuff in this village. Okay, it's more or less amazing. Also, oh, nice focus. So nice again, I love it. Yeah, he has springers now. My only goal here in the middle is to keep his numbers 
uh, uh, low, so he can get to 150 armor, 120 armor, and just over one me because that's the only thing he can actually win at this point. Yeah, Knight, thank you. Just cancelled the attack animation four times. Fine, but we will now even a villager gets again. Yeah, he's under half of the villager now. Switching now to the big farm eco because I have way too much wood and not enough food still. Also, I'm realizing my gold reserves are running quite low at the moment. Yeah, he has two gold mines down here, but that's not the best. Also, yeah. This trade is relatively good to me. First of all, nothing focused my spearmen. Second of all, my horsemen actually killed the trebuchet and does he cancel this one? Yeah, the man at arm tank quite a lot of damage, but. Well, that actually man at arms are the best unit so far to take damage, but as you can see, it doesn't help over the long term. As this ever sits spearman. No, he doesn't catch him up. Oh, nice. Now he adds knights in because knights do so great as a spearman. Holy shit. Yeah, it was again over the long term a win. F uh, one fight for him. He's, but the good thing is, still only on 60 army capacity. So I'm not that worried, and he's still half the eco. And I get the third relic. Also, I'm getting his stone. <laughs> And his gold mine down here with a keep. So on this map is more or less 14k gold left, 14, 18, 22k gold left, and I have more or less control over this gold because of this keep, and I more or less have control over this gold because of this keep. And he's still sieging somehow my army here because he thinks that's actually useful. Oh no! Did you, did you expose the springles? That's that's just terrible. Actually, just terrible. Find it amazing. Maybe you spend your fucking resources, mate. Maybe actually use double production around the Uvu, like this one. Nah, we don't like double production. Maybe double produce siege units because they're fucking expensive. And. They are actually... you just want a few of them instead of producing them in the field. I don't know, would be an idea. Also, the gold corn goes tra uh, drastically low in this game. I, th I don't really mind. I only... To be absolutely honest, I built a few knights, but I used more or less all this 
store uh, gold to buy food, wood or something else. And more or less just get my unit production up. So, yeah, this is more or less a 2k. I find it amazing, he's on so low villagers on gold. But somehow he doesn't spend gold at all. Not for better eco upgrades still. He has plus one, but no plus twos. He got his military upgrades, but who cares about that? Besides plus two melee armor, he got plus two ranged armor, plus not plus two melee armor. Because he saw so many ranged units of me in this game. I think... Does the archer still live? Probably not. But yeah, an uh, unupgraded archer from the military academy, a military house. The moment I just sticking my eco more or less and getting my production up, I think. Yeah, more stable. Let's... okay, I had the plan to get a backdoor base here, but I think my actual plan is to evacuate this area or steal the gold I can get and evacuate this area with the relic. Oh, he fits another double sheep. Because these fucking things are so cheap or what? Fucking build a siege workshop next to this ovo and just double produce this shit. All your siege engines, your mongols. And it's not like you have tons of stone lying around. You don't really use. Yeah, now I'm taking the relic. But yeah, I would say the keep did his job. The gold is gone, my friend. Question is, do the villager get out? No, it doesn't seem like that. Oh, nice elite palace card. By the way, he's H4. Because... A Kagna palace? Three units. Hey, at least something. And he probably got the best units even out of that. Uh, sweet faction Toboshi. Wow. Huge. More springers. Um, yeah, I'm actually up with a trade wing. 32 gold. Amazing trade wood at the moment, but. To be honest, I was thinking to get a trade wood later up, maybe here. But I just want to get traders up to secure me at least a little bit of gold income. Because, yeah, he's still on 8k gold. And I'm only on 4k gold anymore, so yeah. Trader switch would be quite good. And yeah, I got more relics than he did. He does. And we control the same amount of sacred sites, but. And I don't really need gold anyway, besides the upgrades for Imperial Age, what I'm getting at the moment. More or less Spearman upgrade, Horseman upgrade. Um, siege Workshop, this stuff, University. I don't even know if I can travel in the game. Probably not. I just probably cause just spearmen. Yeah. Maybe a few horsemen to kill this actually six units. But let's go. Yeah.
Yeah, you have finesse of heat. Amazing. Sick army dude. Plus 25% damage and one health every second. This is actually huge. In Spearman vs. Spearman fight. Also, I'm still refusing to build any camels to get the plus 2 plus 2. Or plus 1 1 plus 2 armor. What would make the Spearman plus 5 plus 4? And when I get plus 2, I jump plus 5 plus 5. Spearman with 179 HP. That's quite ridiculous, I have to say. But who needs that? I just spam them with Spearman. To be honest, here almost recovered in units and uh, villagers, the 86 villagers. And I just think I secured 6k more gold on the map. I killed 79 villagers. I so say there's so many villagers in this game. It's so funny. I also have to think I'm on to Sweetie Sea. Yeah. To be honest, I didn't even. Also, I could have ended this game in. If I tried, probably relatively fast, but. To be honest, why should I. Trying to kill a Mongol player when I just can boom and. Chill out the game. Especially when I know I actually get gold and doesn't because. It's Mongols. To be honest, I shouldn't drag it out too long because at a certain point Mongols just overwhelm you if they get the siege units up and stuff like that. But he can, uh, as long as you attack him regularly and doesn't dive on too, under too many towers and probably switch, uh, spread up your army so he can um, kill your army with also, if you split up your army, uh, the archers lose a lot of value. But they are just sent military everywhere. Now has gold income. Oh yeah, get the Magodai switch. Oh, for sure. To be honest, there's a buff late game market die in theory with the nerf. I think it lost. Should be the same damage as unarmored target because the targets have armor, they're better and base upgrades even them out, but they get 20% more damage and kill will age, and I think with the other upgrades also. Doesn't they have upgrades? They have four upgrades for damage up. I at least think so. Just to fight for stress, just blacksmith. I have no idea. Probably I burned it down. Because it was next to the Ubu, yeah. Hey, I didn't have any arrows. 
Fels der Anfang ist. Attack speed now, but less damage. Yeah. So that's the most safe weaker, but the certain says is better. Ever since I have extra armor that should negate late game damage of Margot die completely. As I was for infantry at least for uh Tef, not really. HAE has Upgrades for the knights that should reduce the damage overall, especially with Colette buff. Just plus three extra armor. Rus have the royal monk buff that gives extra armor. I think it does. I think it does give extra armor. Also, um, Colette buff does it give extra armor? I think so. Plus one one, I think. Belly has no armor buffs and English has plus two armor buff on the man at arm. And yeah, the Wii match didn't win and better. To be honest, the tower wash was shit because it's ever said you can tower wash it. The TC push was 10 minutes too late and. Yeah, not 10 minutes, it was 6 minutes too late. Was with eco upgrades instead of. Um, with eco upgrades instead of military upgrades fully and ignoring eco upgrades. You can even ignore villager production if you want to go for an all in and just focus, focus on army. So, here, was it, it's a 30 minute mark around, here, here or in here, here is already more or less half the villager uh, count at that point, even if he manages to all in me, and destroy the TC. He doesn't get much else, and maybe he cuts the villager back down, but I'm still in a lead. Yeah, he gets the eco upgrades, but I'm Abyssid, so that doesn't even matter because you can get all your eco upgrades with also the 15% more, and I'm still ahead just with one because I get it with Golden Age, all 15% uh, on everything. So, yeah, wait, also the all-in attempt was, also it would be okay with double the army mass, but with, with spearman horsemen, that's not even 40 supply army, 40, 60, 80 army supply army at that point, absolutely fine, you can all-in. Especially if you spend your stone correctly and produce non-stop and maybe stop villager production. Maybe you could have all in me with 40, 60 units. Uh, with 60 units probably would be double the amount he had. Easily doable at the time, even with the shit eco he had. But not if you spend all your gold, uh, all your resources on eco upgrades. When you're going for an all-in, doesn't make any sense. Also, eco upgrades. Let's say you play something like English or even Mongols. If you want to all-in at the 30-minute mark, or 50-minute mark, or 20-minute mark, I don't know. When you say, okay, as I did it with French. I wanted to all in Abyssid and China more or less. Also, this was before they got buffed like shit, but really early in the beginning when I started with T2C, I said I want to push China Abyssid at 15 minutes. Uh, I all want to all in them and push them away around 15 20 minute mark. 
uh, between 13 and 15 minutes. So around the timing he pushed me now. And because they normally go castle edge at the time with two CCs. So I have two uh, I have two options. I can play Knight's Archer all in and all in him. Or I get a Dark Edge Rebarrow, get a second TC, send a, a few knights, uh, send two knights to his base so he thinks I'm playing a normal French, so he gets all his defensive stuff, delays his boom, so his age is up later, while I booming behind that like crazy, and then I'm going to uh, for an all in. With around double the military, or uh, not even all in, I just going for a timing attack with more military than I would have usually. To be fair, it's a little bit greedy if the enemy scouts, or blah blah blah, but you don't go equal upgrades the moment you go for an all in, and then, to be honest, it was an all in, and at this point. I could have FF. The game was over. Maybe wait until here, but. Yeah, he traded good, and yeah, here he traded really good, and yeah, he had more military all the game. To be fair, here it was a little bit scary, but yeah, I managed to get it down a little bit again by. <laughs> I traded 40 army supply to 20 or 10 or something like that. But, yeah, that's all I need to do, I just have to keep him around this mess because he can't all in with that. Or he can push me out of that with... And... Yeah, if we look... He killed more or less double my units, but it doesn't matter if you have only half the resources and everything. To be fair, the word was actually close, but... 40k gold to 15k and I didn't even use... Yeah. yeah, max food per minute is double the amount, max food per minute is around 3 even, but... <laughs> yeah... Yeah, was I, I even faster than I did, but... I did a 3TC, I did a military ring into a 3TC with military. So, of course, that will be a fucking late age up. Also, no real eco upgrades because it, I knew it was a tower rush, so. Also, my point in this game why I didn't go eco upgrades was I go and get tower rush so I don't have to spend any resources on that shit. Go military ring. Trying to go car, uh, culture wing and get the, all my eco upgrades and the missile metal wing top three TCs and get the villagers up. That was the plan behind that. Worked okay, I would say. To be fair, it tracked out the game for ages, but. Um, of course, uh, after this game, he bad. Uh, he wrote so bad. Um, yeah, to be fair. I didn't play good at all this game, it was absolute shit show and horrible of it. Uh, just horrible, but to be, why I should try hard versus a mongol who doesn't... can only tower wash and... is to be honest even too stupid to tower wash or to play mongols because that was a joke. As he, he even had because I played it so badly a few comeback potentials and he used nothing of them. He wasn't even able to produce villagers non-stop while, uh, while he's tower rushing. And then he's still trying to f play the game versus 1TC versus 3. I don't know, it's just a joke. See you guys and good luck and have fun in your games, bye.